How to mine Bitcoin. Hello everyone and welcome to Harry Crypto. It's great to have you guys with us today. Today, we talk with you how to mine Bitcoin. Mining is the process through which Bitcoin transactions are verified and added to the blockchain. The goal of miners is to find a valid solution to complex math problems. Miners that manage to solve these puzzles are rewarded with new Bitcoins and transaction fees. In the early days, Bitcoin users were able to join the mining race with their personal computers. Nowadays, profitable mining requires the use of highly specialized mining rigs. Since solo mining is very difficult, many miners opt to join a mining pool to increase their chances of getting a block reward, which is then shared proportionally between pool members. Bitcoin mining ensures that the blockchain is up to date with legitimate transactions. It was, at the time, a unique solution to creating trust in a trustless environment. In this sense, mining is core to the security model of Bitcoin. The idea of mining and receiving BTC in return is an attractive sounding deal. While the days of mining with a computer CPU are gone, getting involved with mining doesn't always require owning a physical machine. But before you can decide if mining is for you, let's discuss briefly how Bitcoin mining works. What is Bitcoin mining? When a user creates a new Bitcoin transaction, they need to wait for other network users, nodes, to verify and confirm its validity. Miners are responsible for collecting new, pending transactions and grouping them into a candidate block, a new block that is yet to be validated. The goal of a miner is to find a valid block hash for their candidate block. A block hash is a string of numbers and letters that functions as a unique ID for each block. Here's an example of a block hash. 000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
Theoretically, you could still try to mine bitcoins with your personal computer, but the chances of finding a valid hash are practically zero. Computing the hash function is relatively quick, but calculating the massive amount of random inputs takes much longer. That's why you now need specialized hardware before even trying to be a profitable miner. What mining equipment should I use? Generally speaking, you could try mining cryptocurrencies using a CPU, GPU, FPGA, or ASIC machine. We will go through these in a moment. Some altcoins can still be mined with GPU cards. FPGA machines could also be an option depending on the mining algorithm, difficulty, and electricity costs. But when it comes to Bitcoin, ASIC mining rigs are the most efficient. CPU, Central Processing Unit. CPUs work like a versatile chip responsible for distributing instructions across different parts of a computer. CPUs are no longer efficient for cryptocurrency mining. GPU, Graphics Processing Unit, GPUs may serve different purposes, but they are basically used to process graphics and output them to a screen. They are able to divide complex tasks into several smaller ones to increase performance. Some altcoins can be mined with GPUs, but the efficiency depends on the mining algorithm and difficulty. FPGA, Field Programmable Gate Array. FPGA can be programmed and reprogrammed to serve different functions and applications. They are customizable and more affordable than ASICs but are less efficient for Bitcoin mining. ASIC, Application Specific Integrated Circuit. ASIC stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuits, meaning that these computers are designed for a single purpose. ASIC mining rigs are entirely dedicated to mining cryptocurrencies. ASICs are less customizable and more expensive than FPGAs, but their hash rates and energy consumption levels make them the most efficient option for Bitcoin mining. Mining pools. The chances of mining a block yourself are extremely low. Joining a crypto mining pool instead allows you to combine your computing power with other miners. When the pool successfully mines a block, each miner receives a share of the Bitcoins mined. The pool rewards are proportional to the mining power you provide. How to join a mining pool. When joining a pool using your hardware locally, you will have to configure your software to partner with other miners. The process typically involves signing up for an account and connecting to a mining pool server. If you have a mining rig, Binance Pool is a good place to start mining BTC and other SHA-256 algorithm-based coins. Your mining rig will automatically switch between BTC, BCH, and BSV to maximize your returns, which are paid out in BTC. You can get an idea of how much profit you might get on the Binance Pool page. BTC earnings are paid out daily into your Bitcoin wallet. Cloud Mining if you want to avoid the more technical steps, you can also join a cloud mining farm, leaving the hardware and software up to the farm owners. Broadly speaking, cloud mining usually consists of you paying for someone else to mine on your behalf. The farm owner is then expected to share the profits with you. However, this option is very risky as there is no guarantee that you will get a return on your investment. Many cloud mining services turned out to be scams, so be careful. Closing Thoughts you can't go wrong with a basic understanding of how Bitcoin mining works. With the right combination of hardware and software, anyone can start mining and contributing to the safety of the Bitcoin network. Even if you realize that mining is not for you, you could still contribute by running a Bitcoin node. The initial investment for profitable mining is very high, and there are many risks involved. Your returns will also depend on market conditions and external factors like energy prices and hardware improvements. Make sure to do your research before spending any money on a mining rig. Thanks for watching until the end of this video if you enjoyed it please consider leaving a like maybe sharing it with your friends subscribing to the channel and turning on post notifications. If you have any questions comments or suggestions leave them in the comment section down below and while you're here be sure to check out some of our previous videos as well good luck and happy investing.